In this tutorial, we're going to go over example 2 from the SP column manual, investigation of a slender column, non-sway frame. We're going to determine the adequacy of a 14 inch by 20 inch column with 6 number 11 bars in a non-sway frame with a clear height of 22 feet and 6 inches using k equal to 1. To begin, we'll prepare our input. Go to the input menu and choose general information. Now we're going to fill out the project labels. For the project, we'll use example 2. For the column, we'll use col. And for the engineer, we'll put sp for structure point. For the design code, we're going to use ACI 318-14. For the units, we're going to use English. For the run option, we'll use investigation. For the run axis, we're going to choose biaxial. And we will not be considering slenderness. Choose OK. Next, go back to the input menu and choose material properties. For concrete strength, we want 4.5 KSI. And for reinforcing steel, we want 50 KSI. Choose OK. All right, back to the input menu. Choose section, rectangular. For the width, we want 20 inches. And for the depth, we want 14 inches. Choose OK. All right, back to the input menu again and go to reinforcement and choose sides different. All right, for the number of bars on the top, we we'll want two. For the bar size, we'll choose 11. For the clear cover, we want 1.5 inches. And for the left and right, we want one bar and we want the bar size to also be 11. And for cover two, we'll choose longitudinal bars. Choose OK. All right, from the input menu, choose slenderness, design column, and input 22 for the clear height. And we want to use a non-sway frame, and we want to input our K factor. And for K, we'll put one. And then we'll choose copy to Y axis, and choose OK. From the input menu, choose loads, service, and here for the axial load under live, we want to enter 71.875, and for the Y moments, we want to enter 174.375 for the top, and negative 174.375 for the bottom. And for the sustained load, we're going to keep the default 100%. Now choose Insert and choose OK. Now back to the input menu and choose Loads, Load Combinations. And for our load combinations, we want to use U2. So we're just going to remove the other ones by clicking and dragging to highlight them and choosing Delete yes and we're going to delete the first one as well delete and we're going to choose OK alright now we're ready to solve go to the solve menu choose execute and we get our interaction diagram and we can go to view results and the SP results module will display detailed text results and if we want to format our results in a report we can go to view reporter and the SP reporter module will generate a report for us and we can export it in different formats and with any information that we want alright thank you for watching this tutorial and you can check out our other tutorials links are below the video thank you